All right, this one's gonna be my poor man's front end to Aria 2C Daemon. Uh, you know what R2C is basically a download utility. And a lot of people, you know, they know how to use Aria 2C uh, from the command line. Uh, this time we're talking about the Daemon, which is a little bit different. And, um, you know, um, mainly they have like a uh, web interface for it, but they don't really have command line interface to it. And definitely not an end curse interface, which I really want someone to make one. But um, you can demonstrate that out here. But Aria 2C, it can download HTTP links, FTP uh, torrent, and meta links, uh, which I explained that in my other video if you want to watch that. But uh, let me show you my setup and how I use it here. So normally I browse a lot of uh, open directories because. Um, you know, there's a subreddit called Open Directory, so you can go in there and you can download a bunch of files, all right? But let's we'll say we do uh, for music here, and I'm going to search for ATC the band here. And what link was that? 23? Okay. And here we kind of a bunch of, you know, MP3s, or it can be any files that you have on your web browser. And the browser I'm using right now is W3M here, right? And I can download any of these, uh, you know, audio files if I want. But I wanted to download it outside of the web browser I'm using. And that's why we're using uh, Aria 2 c because I want to monitor it and everything. Um, so let me show you how to do that here. So at the bottom here, you can see that uh, this is our monitoring uh, pane here. And right now you see it says the uh, daemon is not running. So we have to enable the, the daemon first, right? And uh, over here is my little... Um, was a bash script that I created uh, and this is a front end to the Diana program which I'll explain it more later on but basically what we have to do in here is uh, start the daemon right and to do that we do a uh, lowercase s here so we hit s enter and it'll start the daemon any minute now there we go uh, so I see in the bottom now uh, is activated and this one down here is just running a was a, a watch command all right watch dash t and diana progress which is another bash script uh i'll explain that more later on but basically it's monitoring our progress right and uh once we download some stuff you'll see that it changes here so if i want to download this mp3 i'll just send it from my web browser to the daemon so i'll run in these uh, commands that you can do Right, we'll add it, and you see that says active, and then it'll download it, and it says complete, real easy. So if I do another one, right, it'll say active, and then it'll download, and then it's complete. Now, if I want to play this file, uh, I can do that too, uh, using my Dana MUI for um, menu user interface here. <coughs> but basically, if I hit O, right. I can actually select the uh, MP3 that I want to play that we just downloaded already. I hit enter and I open it with uh, XDG open. So whatever your default player for, you know, whatever um, file type it is, it'll play. But it's muted right now, but you can see that it's playing uh, not that hard. Uh, other things you can do in here, you know, you can do remove, pause, resume, and what is that, pause, all active, resume all paused it. Not that hard. So let me give you uh get some bigger files so you can actually see it in action here. Movies here. And uh, what was the one that has a lot of videos? Two, no, that's too much. Okay, whatever. In here, okay. So this one we have one video here. We'll add that to our list. We'll add it paused it, okay. We'll add it posited. So we don't want to download first. So for example, this one here. All right. So we added all of it posited. And let's say if I want to add another one uh, and it's active. What is this one here? Rope. So let's say for this same example, this movie, if I want to add it act, um, and I start downloading it, I'm going to do that too. So this one is downloading here, right? Um, and the other ones that we added before, it was just posited. Now, if I want to pause that one real easy, I can go in here and I hit uh, P, lowercase p here for pause, 
right? Lowercase p for pause. And it will actually uh, run uh, FZF. So this is kind of like my um, anchors interface uh, when we're doing selection here. But I hit enter and it'll pause it. And it'll go to the pause, you know, uh, section here. Now, if I want to resume everything, uh, I can do capital C. And this one will do resume all posited. So it's not that hard in here. You know, you get the idea. And it'll resume everything. Now, if I want to, you know, um, pause all the active ones, I can do capital P. And it will pause everything. Right, it'll pause it. And if I want to clear the completed ones, so these ones here is completed, I can do, uh, what's that, E here for clear. So we do capital E, and it'll clear that section there. Not that hard. Uh, if you want to do multiple selections, uh, every word that has the little star next to it, that means you can do multiple selections. All right. Uh, this one, this one, this one. That means you can use the tab key uh, when using FCF. So, for example, these ones are positive, right? And let's say I just want maybe two or three of them that I want to resume, you know, downloading. Uh, how would I do that? So, I do a lowercase c here. And I just want to maybe, let's say, resume this one. I'll hit tab on this one. It'll mark it. I'll say tab on this one. It'll mark that. And I just hit enter. And two of them will start downloading only, right? So that's how that works. Um, not that hard, right? So we'll, what else are we going to do? So we're going to pause all of that there. So that's how that works. Um, not that hard. And what else can we do with this one? So let me explain you. Um, you know, so the bottom one here, like I said before, this one is just using the watch command and is monitoring. Um, uh, the output of the Diana program. So the Diana, normally we would do this, Diana, uh, what was it called? Posited. Right, this one will do that, but it will do it in a loop because we're using the watch command. Um, so it's doing it in a loop, and it's much easier for us to see, kind of like an NCURS uh, interface. Uh, so it's looping everything uh, every two seconds, right? And that's how we monitor it. And this one over here, this is my Diana MUI for menu user interface. And this is uh, kind of like a front end to Diana program. And the Diana program, um, if you don't know, is a command line interface to the ARIA2 daemon. Now, most of you guys, like I said, uh, are used to the ARIA2C command line. And that's one thing. The daemon is a different thing. And uh, I believe in the man page for Aria 2C, there's like no way to even interact with the daemon. Well, not very easily, because uh, I believe that one's like more like a web interface. Um, and there's like no command line to it, but someone actually created a uh, interface to the daemon, and this one is called Diana. And the Diana is mainly a command line, you know, um, program. But uh, I was too lazy to type in the command every time. You know, I would have to do Diana, pause it, list, and, and all this. So that's why I made this little interface, and I just do, like, uh, a few letters. And, you know, uh, we can get it up running pretty quickly and, you know, add and remove and all that stuff. I'm not that hard using other tools, combine it with, like, you know, Fuzzy Finder, uh, XDG Open, and all that. And we can actually... Uh, um, you know, navigate with it quicker, right? <clears throat> so, how does this work here? Uh, let's bust out the script here. What was that script? And this one is called Diana. So, the progress one here is pretty easy, it's just a bash script, but it just, you know, runs the Diana um, commands for stats, uh, list, pause, stop, errors. You know, not that hard for that one. And this one, the Diana MUI, and this is, you know, where we put the um, Diana commands, like adding, removing, and stuff like that. And we combine it with uh, Fuzzy Finder, um, XDG Open, or something like that, um, that we can do, right? And we can just do, like, a couple of letters 
and we can actually add or remove real stuff real quick and you can actually use this by itself too because you know right now you see me use tmux but you can actually just use it as a single program uh you don't actually have to like uh you know have multiple terminals open if you don't want to so for example if i wanted just to use uh let's say for example this one only right i can do uh diana mui here and i can do let's say if i want to list out you know all my downloads i can use l for list all the downloads here and it'll list it out like this and once you uh, close it off with uh, control c you're back to your menu right and you can actually add from here too so let's say for example i uh uh, let's copy another link here or whatever. Okay, here we go. We'll copy this link here. Or y. But let's say if this is a single program, I can do A to add it. And I just paste in the link. And it should add it to our list. And we'll do L to list it out here. And you see it says this one is active here, right? So this is the, you know, it's active the one that we just download or we added to our download. And then you can do control C to get it out of that. And then we can pause all. We can do uh, pause all and it'll pause it. And we can list it again. Right. And if you just want to use this like straight up within your, uh, what is that, uh, uh, your W3M web browser, you can do that too. I already have mine set up. I can do in here, XD. And look at that. I can do it from here. Right. And I can list it out too if I want. Cause you can run shell commands within uh, uh, W3M, and it's the same thing. If you you know if you don't want to have multiple terminals open or something like that or multiple panes open, you can do it from here too. Uh, multiple ways to do this not that hard. And how do you set this up? So basically, you do need Aria 2C, you do need uh, the Diana program, and you also need um, what else you need? Well, you need those two scripts that I have uh, created. If you want the same setup as mine, so you need the Diana MUI and the progress. So in here, all you gotta do is change, you know, where your Diana program is located at, because I don't know how you install it. You maybe you install it locally, so you have to change that variable to, you know, to the path that you know where your binary is at. Same thing in here, the uh, MUI. Like I said, uh, Diana is not like a um, popular program so it's not in your repositories and most distribution unless you're on arch there should be in the AUR but uh, you know however you want to download it you have to list out your um, variables and point it to that path whatever right for Diana and also this one called dad which is I think it stands for Diana Damon but they have that too here so they have dad they have Diana and you need those two and point it to the correct location and also, you know, the uh, Diana Progress, uh, the script that I had. And also, where do you want to save it to? So I usually save it to download slash aria, and it'll automatically create the path that you uh, set it up to. All right. Anything else in here that I need to say? So these are the dependencies here, bash, aria2c, core utils, fcf, awk, and, you know, all that here. Uh, so that's pretty much my setup. And uh, the reason why I like it like this is, uh, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to talk about is that uh, for W3M, uh, you go to your key mapping, and what you want to do is um, add a key map for like XD for uh, the current link that you're on. Not the current link, but um, the cursor link that you're on. And this one will be uh, Diana add. That's the command line to add it. And this also was oh, a Diana uh, dash dash pause add. So this one will add, add it to the active, and this one will add it to the pause uh, list here. So however you want to do it, you know, if you want to do it just one at a time, you can do that. Uh, so that's how I, my setup is like for, uh, you know, was that W3M? But you can use it for any uh, web browsers that allow you to uh, send commands to it. So even if um, let me give you an example here. Let's go to another one. And this one, we'll close it off and we'll do that watch command again here, right? So even if I uh, add another one, uh, how do we do this here? So for example, I have a, um, I have a little uh, plugin called, what was that going? Aria2C integration here for uh, Chromium. 
But in here, uh, I can actually right click on this and you see it says download with Aria too. And basically this will send it to Daemon also. So you don't actually have to um, use a command line web browser. You don't have to, but this will send it to the Daemon also. So you can see at the bottom here, uh, the one that we just added, it'll be in the active here, right? And that's how that works. So not that hard here when we want to do this. Um, so that's what I like about the daemon. So you can use it with other tools, not just, you know, um, one interface. You can use it with command line interface, uh, end curse interface, you know, web interface, uh, anything, GUI, whatever it is. Um, so that's my setup. And the main reason why I want to do that is, <clears throat> you know, uh, if you watch my videos on my torrent setup for a transmission daemon, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just that transmission, it doesn't do HTTP links. And that's why I always wanted uh, something that does HTTP links. So for example, if I want to download a manual link in here, uh, you see that it will add, uh, what was that? This uh, wallpaper thing here, right? We'll add another one here just so you can see. We'll add a few, look at this one. Right, so transmission daemon. If it actually did like uh, HTTP links, I probably wouldn't even need to use the ARIA2 stuff. But um, I wanted to do the same setup, but you know, with uh, mainly just HTTP links. But like I said, uh, ARIA2C can do, um, you know, daemons also. Not daemons, uh, you can do like transmission also um, with, you know, downloading torrents and all that. But this one, I mainly just use it for. HTTP links. Uh, I don't do it for you know torrents or meta links or any of that. Although you could if you wanted to. Anyways, hopefully you understood all that. Uh, link will be in the description if you want to set this up. Uh, really cool if you're into like um, who was that? Uh, open directories. There's a subreddit called Open Directories, and they list out like files like this from uh, different sites, and you can actually go in there and just download it really quick. And this is my uh, setup for that. You know, if I wanted to like uh, download movie songs or pictures or whatever it is, uh, I can go in here and, uh, you know, download it real quick. Right. Anywho, uh, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, I really want someone to actually create a end curse interface, a real one, because this one is very hacky and I don't think a lot of people are going to use it, but just showing you my setup here if you like it. Anywho, that's a long video, but that'll be it for this one.